Okay, today we worked on questions that were like the first page of the homework. Root three times root four is kind of like number one. And notice that you really don't have to make it root 12. You can just see that root four is a perfect square and you get two root three. So when we looked at these rules, a reminder, root a, b is equal to root a and root b. And then if you were to separate them and reverse that, you'd get root a times root b equals to root a, b. Over here, this is like number five. Notice the double root fives. Well, we have to write that out and make the steps. Down here, like number six, we have to write out root three times root t. Then we notice the root three times root three is equal to three. We write out all the steps. And then over here, number seven, the longest one, number seven and eight. Number seven, we had to break it down, root 12 into root four and root three. We notice the root threes are equal to three. We notice root four is a perfect square. We write it out in five or six steps. You gotta get good habits to make this happen. Number eight, we had to do the same thing with the root fives and we ended up with getting 20. So make sure you write all the steps. That's the key to getting success.